My name is Coda Everhart. <laughs> island of Kefalonia, um, north tip of the island. It's kind of like a fisherman's village. I think it's what a time to be alive. It's 2018, right? Like we happen to be alive when there's so much uprest and uprooting of the conservative predispositions of what women, or what women have collectively represented over time, right? So we get to represent for a newness, a new era, like the shedding and complete dilapidation of this matrix that's been created for us and create something that is brand new and exciting, that's formidable, that has integrity and longevity. Like it's, there's no better time to be a woman right now. I have many heroes. Oh, I have many heroes for many different things. Okay. Like I have a hero, Aaliyah Placebo yeah. for being sexy and edgy yeah. and androgynous. Like yeah. those are like musical heroes. And then I have Prince yeah. who's like, I dress for self. Prince actually told me verbatim himself, I dress for self. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> don't dress for others, don't dress for press. Yeah. Dress for self yeah. and you will never have a problem because you're making decisions for yourself that you feel are best. <sighs> Maya Angelou, or Angelo, depending on where you're from. I love her wisdom and her depth. I feel my most empowered when I'm making decisions that I feel are the best decisions to make for myself. I feel in the last, man, like in the last, five years I've had to step into a place where like my father raised me as a single custodial black father in white suburbia so I had a crazy upbringing of being around someone that had to operate from a place of stability and safety and making sure that I was okay and I had everything that I needed as an arrow to spring from his bow of existence so to live fearlessly right now and operate from a place of magnitude, that's empowering. I'm empowered because in the last five years, who, my father, who's extremely safe, but wonderful, mind you, like I don't wanna like, you know, to his detriment, but he's extremely, he has to live in safety. I've had to be and have operated from fearlessness, right? So it's been beautiful in the sense that I've, through my experience, have been able to inspire and ignite that fearlessness in him and make decisions that I feel are best for myself. There are times where my dad's like, I can't believe you're gonna say no to that. Like, like, why? And I'm like, no is a really powerful word, dad. No is my favorite word, actually. <laughs> there should be a book called The Power of No. I'm serious right now. <laughs> I love it. And he doesn't, he doesn't see it because he's been, he's been very yes. But through having a child, that has found a sense of self and a strong, empowered voice, it's taught him to be open to that vibe and to let that flow and to let me make decisions and trust the decisions that I make. So it's empowering to be a woman, but also make decisions for yourself. That's kind of like where I am, just flowing. I have a black belt. Yeah. I have a black belt, I'm a martial artist. I was trained to fight, but I was more importantly trained to be still and never have to fight if I don't need to. I really love food. God, I love food. I love, I'm a foodie, I'm a total foodie, but pleasure. Being able to give back. Are we, we're getting really personal. Yeah. My mother's death. My mother's death. My mother's death because it's, I can only be in a place to talk about it because it's not being emotionally removed from it. It's because I've learned how to integrate that in a healthy, accountable way. So that even in acting, like I can pull, pull upon that, like pull from that and revisit that. Like I know that button, but I don't have to emotionally revisit it. My mother's death is the most impactful thing that has ever happened in my life because it seemed like everything that never mattered melted away, completely disintegrated. I may have been on a completely different journey if my mother was still alive, but because she's gone, it gives me a strong sense of purpose in the way in which I choose to walk through life and the decisions that I make. I feel like she's watching me 